Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working With Todoist series. My name is Carl Pauline and this week it's all about taking your sub-projects and converting them into sections. Now why would you want to do that? Well, as you may have noticed over the last few months, Todoist have been switching over and trying to encourage us more to use sections. And a couple of weeks ago when they launched the the, the symbol, the forward slash, to denote a section so you can use sections in filters now, that just was a game changer. And it just makes the sidebar so much cleaner. You have a work project, you click on that and you can see all your work projects inside one window. And if you don't want to see them all the tasks in one go, you can just collapse the sections. It actually is a much better way and it's not that difficult to get used to the new system. It took me a couple of days and I was fine, absolutely fine and actually really do enjoy using the sections. So this week what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to transfer your sub projects into sections the quickest and easiest way. Now before I do that though I would just like to say if you do get any value from this video then please help me by clicking that like button below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to get all the latest tips, tricks and news on Todoist, then please subscribe to my channel. OK, it's time for me now to hand you over to my Todoist and show you how to do this. OK, so what Todoist have done is they've removed the ability to see your sub projects underneath the parent project. Now you can see them here in the left hand sidebar, but what you cannot note, what you can no longer see are them in this main view here. And that has caused some kind of Twitter storm. I was really rather surprised at this because if you actually stop and think about this, it makes perfect sense because it keeps the sidebar nice and clean. And one of the things I've noticed over the last two or three years that I've been coaching on Todoist and time management and productivity is part of the biggest problem people feel overwhelmed is they've created these really complex hierarchical structures of projects, sub-projects, sub-folders, ah, it, and it just becomes so overwhelming. And the one tip I can give you is the more project folders you have in that left-hand sidebar, the more likely you are going to lose a lot of your tasks. And trust me on this one, I have played that game. I have been there. I've realized that that was a huge mistake and I haven't been doing that for a very long time. Instead, as most of you now know, I actually operate a system called the Time Sector System and I actually do use the sections in this and if I take you into my this week folder here what I've got is my this week these are my the, the tasks that I need to complete this week and these are my recurring areas of focus now this is my demo account so this is not really real but this is give you an indication of how I use sections anyway and one of the beauties of this is I can open that I can collapse it now because my area recur areas of focus are recurring I can keep that pretty much closed except for when I need to review it. So that's just one of the beauties I like of these sections. But the purpose of this video is to show you how to move these section, these sub-projects over into sections. And it is really quite simple. Now the first thing you need to do is to create the sections in the parent folder, like I've got for here, routines. Now as you can see, if I move my mouse, uh, my my mouse along here I can create a section up at the top here alternatively by the way if you do have trouble with that you can actually use the three ellipses up on the top right click on that and you can add a section from there so I'm going to do that now and I'm going to call this one daily now this is really an important step because you need to create the sections first so I'm going to move down here I'm going to add a section from here I'm going to call this weekly and I'm going to create my monthly one here. So I'm going to create the monthly one. There we go. So that's the three sections that you actually need to create first. Now, this is a step one. If you try and do this the other way, it's possible, but it's a little bit more complicated. This is just a cleaner way of creating or moving the sub projects over to your sections. So now I have the three sections. I have they're identical to the ones here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my daily subsection 
uh, subproject and I'm going to hit shift at the top. So shift click on the grab handles on the left here. Go down to the bottom and shift click on the bottom one. So that's all the tasks in there. Now when you do that, what you will notice is you get this menu along the top and you can do a lot of things here. Now this video isn't about this sub menu. I can do a future one. I have done them on in the past. What we want to do is we need to go to this one here, the move to project. So you click on that and what you'll see if you go down to the routines, now I have the sub the, the sections in here with their icon, the section icon. So I'm going to click on daily and that's moved over to daily. So as you can see now, what I have here is my daily uh, routines are in here, sections. So what I'm going to do is now is go down to my weekly one. I'm going to do the same thing. Shift click on the top, shift click on the bottom. That selects them all. Move to project. Again, go down to my weekly, click on that. They disappear. And finally, I'm going to do my monthly one, which again is I shift click on the top, shift click on the bottom, move to project and I'm going to move to this section here monthly. So now I can delete these sub projects because I no longer need them. So I'm just going to go in here. Now you have a choice here. If you don't want to lose them ever because you've had other, because I know that some of you, this is my routine, so it doesn't really matter. But if you're doing this with projects, you may prefer to archive rather than delete because archive means that you still have access to your completed tasks if you need to. So you can go to archive and archive the project. I'm going to go to this. Again, the three dots on the right, the ellipses on the right, archive that project. And I'm going to go to three ellipses there and archive that project. Now I have a clean very clean sidebar. Now if we go into the routines, what I've got now is I've got my section here. I've got eight in that one. I've got my section for, whoops, I've got my section for weekly and I've got my section for monthly. And the other thing that I really like about this is now I can see the total number of tasks I have in my routines right here. Now, as I said, in what I have is I've been using this for a while now actually with my this week folder. So these are my uh, one off unique tasks that I have to complete for the week. These are my recurring areas of focus. These are like the tasks that I've actually identified are my high value tasks. Now, this is my demo account, so it doesn't look really high value. But these are my what I would do use is where I put my high value tasks that I want to repeat weekly. That's slightly different and is I say slightly, it's actually very different from routines. Routinal tasks are just really not that important. And if I didn't do them on a particular day, it wouldn't be the end of the world. So that's the way to shift your sub projects over to sections. And again, when just like we had when you had able to use your sub projects in the main project fold parent folder, you can open and close these really easily like this. And I can just have my daily ones open. So it hasn't really changed anything. What it has done is cleaned up the sidebar. And I don't think there's a real problem with that because as I said, what I have found in the past when I've been coaching people is the real problem of having way too many project folders and subfolders and that's how you lose your task. You'll dump a task in there, it'll disappear and because you've got so many folders your weekly review or your weekly planning session takes way too long. So having everything in one place you click on that and you can just go through it and review so much easier. So that's the reason and it's part of the Todoist Foundations update that came out October last year and it is also, I hear, this is just a rumour, but I hear this is also part of preparing Todoist for the boards which are coming sometime in the future, although I don't really know when they are coming. So there you go. That's the reasoning behind moving away from sub-projects to sections. This is also how to quickly move your sub projects over to sections and I hope you found this very useful. So thank you very much for watching this episode. Don't forget if you did get any value from this video then please help me by clicking that like button below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to get all the latest tips, tricks and news on Todoist then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much and it just remains for me now to wish you all a very very productive week.
Hello, thank you very much for watching my videos. Now I have something exciting to tell you about. Recently I have developed a brand new time management system. It's a system designed to manage your time in the 21st century. The world has changed a lot over the last 20 years. In fact, it's actually changed a lot this year. And what we need now is a system, a time management system that is very easy to use easy to maintain so that you can spend more of your time doing the work and that's what the time sector system is all about it's going to change your whole belief system about way the way a time management system should work because this focuses on when when you are going to do the task and let's be honest it doesn't matter how motivated inspired or how urgent something is if you don't have time to do it it is never going to get done and that's what this system is built around, getting your work done. So you can spend more of your time doing the things that you want to do. I hope you join me in this course. The full details of the course are in the show notes below. So please join me and thank you very much for watching this brief video.